Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at the official Mastodon app, which is currently in beta and available for iOS. Of course, they do plan on releasing a version for Android down the line, but for now, they wanted to release and prioritize on iOS because Android already has quite a few variety when it comes to Mastodon apps. The other reason why they wanted to release their own official Mastodon app instead of relying on these other third-party apps is because they wanted to ensure that new users coming to Mastodon would get a good experience. In addition to that, if a new user wants to join Mastodon, they'll typically go to their app store and search for Mastodon and not finding an official app with the Mastodon name might confuse them. They may not know what these other third party apps do exactly. And they wanted to make sure that when the user did sign up on the official app, that they would get a good onboarding experience. If you would like to test this beta release, you can do so by supporting the Mastodon team over on their Patreon, which I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're enjoying my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, BeerTube, follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LiberaPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below. All right, so I'm going to be testing this on an iPad and the app I'm using is called the test flight app, which lets you test apps on iOS that are currently in beta. Here you can see a list of updates uh, to the app of their most recent updates. I would say I can click open to open the app there, but I'm going to go back to the home page and just click on the app here. This is what users will first see upon opening the app. So if you don't have an account, you can click on sign up here. You'll be taken to a nice list where you can pick a server or community that you want to join. By default, it'll go to all or general and you can scroll down through the list. Or you can click on one of these buttons here, like the location, which will load servers that are specific to a language or a region. And you can click something like this little palette here to load communities that cater towards arts, artists, and things like that. But for now, I'm going to go to all. I'm going to click on fostedon.org, which is the community that I'm a part of. You'll be taken to a page where you can see the server or community's rules. And then you can click on I agree. And then here you can sign up and upload your avatar. But for now, since I already have an account here, I'm just going to go back and click on sign in. Let me choose Fostedon. And it says Mastodon wants to use Fostedon.org to sign in. And of course, it's going to ask permission here, which you can just authorize. And here I am. This is my timeline. And scrolling down is pretty smooth here. If I click this little gear icon, you can switch the appearance. So right now I have it to always dark, but I can go automatic or even switch to a light theme. which looks okay, I guess. I'm not a big fan of light themes myself, so I'm just gonna switch it back to a dark theme. And if you scroll down here, you can see notification settings. There's a section called the boring zone where you can see the terms of service and the privacy policy and a spicy zone where you can sign out or clear the media cache. If you click on this little search button down below, you'll be taken to the timeline which I must say looks very nice. You can see what's trending. And so let's say if I click on tour, I can see posts from all the different servers that my server is connected to. So that's pretty cool. If I go back, I can see or browse through the list of accounts that it is recommending I follow. So if I click on a profile, it'll just load that user's profile. If I click on this little bell notification, you can view your notifications. You can see who's favorited your post, who's mentioned you. If you click here, any replies to, to yourself here. If I click this little person icon here, it'll take me to my profile. Overall, I like the way it looks. On an iPad though, this section here where you see the links looks a little bit like it doesn't belong or fit well but that's just because the iPad has a very unique 
four by three screen ratio. And then here I can click replies, view my post where I've replied to another user. If I click on media, I can see the list of images I've shared. You tap on an image, it'll zoom in very nice like that. And if you click this little star here, you're going to see a list of the posts that you favorited and browse through them here. Of course, if you click that share button, you can share your profile to through your other apps. Then if I click on this gear icon, we'll be taken back to this same settings menu that we saw earlier. I think the one thing that's missing like on a tab here in the bottom is a messages to search for private DMs. I guess you can still view private DMs like through your notifications and your DMs usually show up on your timeline here, which I feel like it should be better separated. If I were to click here to compose a new message, I can click here to select if I want it to be a public post, the followers only, or if it's only meant to be for people I mention, then I guess that will make it into a DM. Here I can click the content warning, like let's say I want to post something provocative, whether something that's very lewd or maybe politics related. If I click this little emoji, it'll be taken to the fosteron.org list of emojis. I guess I'm having Wi-Fi issues because these are not loading right now. Here I can create a poll and then click this little image of a gallery to upload a picture. Overall, I like what I'm seeing so far with the official Mastodon app, especially when it comes to the UI. I think that's the big takeaway here because we can't just sell the idea of Mastodon by focusing on the fact that it is privacy friendly. Unfortunately, the average user doesn't really care about privacy. So we got to make sure that an alternative like Mastodon is not just privacy respecting, but also looks very nice and is very fun and easy to use. Pretty much we can be better than the mainstream alternatives in every way. That would be a good thing. But let me know your thoughts. Do you like what you're seeing so far with this Mastodon app? Will you be testing it as well? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.